Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting algebra question. What is the value of 50 to the 50th power all over 25 to the 21st power? Okay, we just need to simplify this a little bit and we can find the answer. So, what we're gonna do? We can represent these 50 as 25 plus 25 for sure. So, 50 to the power 25 plus 25 all over 25 to the 25th power. We can do this for sure. So, the next we're gonna do, we need to break these exponents. We know the rule that if we have a to the power m plus n, it will be equal to a to the power m times n. And this works in that way and in that way. So, we here, right here we have a sum, so we can break these as a product, yeah? So, let's do this. It will be equal to 50 to the 21st power times 50 to the 21st power all over 25 to the 25th power. Nothing hard, just using this rule and break this exponent. So, what are we going to do next? We're going to do a little bit trick. So, we write this like that. So, we will have 50 to the 21st power, I just let this on the left, and on the right I will get 50 to the 21st power all over 25 to the 25th power. Just write this like that, I can do this because this is a product, so and this is a fraction, so I can do this. Okay, the next rule I need is that we have a to the power x all over b to the power x. It will be equal to a over b to the power x in the one parenthesis. So, if I have the same, the different bases but same exponent, I can write it in one parenthesis and just use in this exponent as well. I have a right here. 50 is our a and 25 is our b and the same exponent 25 so let's write it like that 50 to the 21st power times 50 over 25 raised to the 21st power just using this rule nothing hard write it in one parenthesis so it will be equal to 50 to the 21st power i just let it right here and right here I will get 50 over 25, it will be equal to 2 to the 25th power. Okay, what are we gonna do next? For sure we need our third rule, it's our first rule, it's our second rule, and to solve this we need a third rule. If we have a to the power x times b to the power x, I can write it in one parenthesis a over b to the power x. Like that, but a product. So I will receive 50 times 2 all raised to the 25th power. So I will get 100 to the 21st power and this is our answer. So I can't simplify this more so this is our answer and this will be equal to this just learn or remember these three rules so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos and thank you for watching